practice, more all of those things. And so if I could see the gallery view, that'd be real cool. And so there's like uh, a lot of different things uh, that's, that's going on in the cosmos and things are getting bigger, 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 bigger. And uh, sometimes you get more gifts than you know what to do with. And and so so I'm not sure about these new gifts, but I'm going to try to get them for you guys. I'm sure about what they're what I see them doing for for me, but I only got these yesterday and today. And so I'm going to hook you guys up with these things that really get you um, to this brighter space where things really work out and click in for you. And so that's a wonderful thing. Uh, when I look at you, I want to clear all of your energies with these new gifts I got. And so uh, in the Bible, it talks about, I don't know if Dr. Grossman is on tonight, but I, I was having this conversation with him a few months ago about in the Bible, it talks about the giants, the giants, you know, and there, there's a whole uh, thing about giants and in the Bible. And, and so uh, I don't think they were talking about giant people, real tall folks, people. I think they were talking about, your giant higher selves. When you get the spiritual gift of your giants, your giant higher selves, you become incredibly powerful. I mean, the dark energies that you used to have to work, you know, a month to get rid of, you can get rid of in a nanosecond. This is the thing that's kicked in yesterday and today. Uh, this is a, a brand new dimension that opened up where you become your giant higher self here on the planet Earth. And so, and, and you can slip into these giants. And, and so what happens is you get so big that you can look down and the demons that used to really wreck your world uh, will actually be easy for you to clear because they're so small. You look, you go, that little guy's picking on me. You gotta be kidding me. And you'll just whack it and you'll get, you'll get rid of it. And so your, your spiritual gifts, all the spiritual gifts that you have now will continue to work, but they will become giant spiritual gifts and become bigger, bigger, more, more light, light, crazy. But this is a dimension that just opened up yesterday and just opened up today because I killed about a bazillion demons to get to it. And so a lot of times when I crack off these big dimensions around the cosmos uh, that's affecting all of us, then all of a sudden it just really gets instantly better. Well, how does that operate? Well, you know, it'll take a minute to figure it out. So through today and the master class tomorrow, and since now I figured out time zones on my phone, uh, I will be, uh, you know, close to on time tomorrow. And so, but anyway, I, I appreciate you guys and, uh, and I, I appreciate you being here for me. And I appreciate you being here for each other, uh, for yourself and for God. I, I see all these different things going on with you with lots and lots of light, lots of crazy gifts. Uh, and, and in this time we're in, when one of you guys get a spiritual gift, you'll notice that everybody around you gets a little brighter or they get a little rowdy. They get a little pissed off with you. And and so and, and you notice that. Let me talk to Rolo. Rolo, you're shaking your head. I want you to I want to talk to you. And so and, and so I see Karen from I see you shaking your head. I see a bunch of you guys shaking your head, going, Oh yeah, oh yeah. And so Rolo, what's going on? Tell me about that. Tell me what keyed in right then when I when I said that. You, you know, uh um it, you see it all over social media too, right? It's like as your vibration gets higher. Um, those that are not vibrating at that higher level will, um, uh, freak not be out. open to, yeah, they, yeah, they won't be open to receptive. Yeah. You don't have to throw bad folk out of your world. They will run out the door. Uh, and this is, this is, uh, God saying the rats running are running out of the castle. <clears throat> and so, uh, when people have this stinking thinking, so to speak, and, uh, um, when people have the, the these you know horrible attitudes and angry vibrations at you and they're mad at you because you're happy uh, or they're mad just because they're mad or they're mad at themselves always. Um, and so with, with all this anger and hate and craziness, um, it, it's like oil and water. It really is. And, and it just kind of doesn't, doesn't work out too good. Um, but see, us folk who are on a high vibration, we have to endure it. And we can't just tell those people to kiss off. And so that's the trick. And so during this time where you can't just tell those folks to kiss off uh, because that's on oneness, you have to clear them. 
And so you have to work really hard to clear them. Uh, and you got, it requires amazing patience. Let me get you guys the gift of patience right in the beginning of this. Okay. And so you want to ask uh, Christ, God, Christ. mother, Mary, mother, Mary, give me your patience. Mother Mary mm -hmm. has the ultimate gift of patience. There we go. And so now when I got that particular spiritual gift right then, I feel bright. I feel light. I feel happy. I can breathe better. I feel you guys feeling those things, same, same things. What does that feel like for you, Rolo? What does it feel like? Um, uh, uh, a word popped into my head. Um, in the way that I feel right now, just overall kind of fuzzy and happy, right? Like yeah. everything's going to be okay, right? Everything's going to be okay. Gonna be even even yeah. though you could, be a, a, you could be a total psycho moment. Like when I realized what? It's nine. I thought it was eight, right? And so, <laughs> and so, so like you can be in a total psycho psycho moment, right? And and then everything still just goes into a space of being just fine. And so, go ahead. the word the word magnanimous comes up, right? Hey, because I love that word. Are, there are other people around us that um, you know are in our lives, but they're not um, vibrating at the same frequency. And that doesn't mean we have to throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know, but I love that saying, by the way, I know. Right. Uh, but to act more magnanimous, um, having uh, in this case, I think having spiritual knowledge and wisdom that others don't, but that doesn't necessarily mean that um, they won't eventually get there or, you know, the fact is, this is really not our, our decisions, our, our path, right. It's their path. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. How much mm -hmm. do you love people? I love people a lot. I know. <laughs> That's the reason I love you a lot. I and love so, you. So, yeah, I love you back. And so so it, it's like, and I really love you back. And so it, it's like when you when you love people, it is easier. It yeah. is easier. When you hate people, it is hard. It is difficult. It is really <laughs> difficult. I was... Um... Oh, Uncle Bob saw Uncle Bob today. He since um he was I remember on, him. I like him. I read him in the car with you uh, and David. Uh, you and David is, Simon. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He's our Simon. Uncle Bob's doing fantastic. Um, no back issues. He says he feels great. He only gets tired every once in a while, but he can go Good. work in, in the yard. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I remember but, I, I healed I healed him up in the car. He goes, healed my yep. back. You know? Yep. Yep. Good. Absolutely. Uh, and it worked. Yeah, definitely. But Uncle Bob told me one time we were driving back from from a sweat and uh, somebody cut me off. And, you know, I had my natural knee jerk reaction. He started laughing at me and I look over at him. I'm like, what are you laughing at, old guy? Right. He said, uh, you know, I, I remember driving and my elder Beaver was in the uh, passenger seat. Same thing. Somebody cut me off. I got mad. He said, you know what? you're making it very easy for me to pray for you. Oh. And instead of being angry at people, I just look at them and go, you know, you're making it so very easy for me to pray for you right now. Well, well that's good because I'm praying for you. <laughs> all right. Thank lots, you. Gary. Lots of light to you. I hope you feel really warm all over. You feel that? Definitely. Okay. Now here's what I want you to do. I got a new key this week, guys. I got this new key that is a freak, freak, freak key. And I'm going to get this. Every time I get a spiritual gift, the only thing I try to do is give it to you. That's what I try to do. Because when I get a gift, I'm cracking through the dark stuff that's trying to kill us down here and sometimes doing a pretty good job of it. And so what you want to do, you want to get this key. It's a spiritual gift of a, it's a diamond key. It's a golden diamond key. And I'm going to pull it down. I got it. It's big. It's about this big. I just now got it in my hand and I'm pulling it down. And I'm going to put it up in the sky and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to open the sky. This is going to open up and get rid of any darkness. My head got dizzy. Uh, my eyes got brighter uh, and I feel your sinuses open and I'm throwing this key to all you guys. All you guys, I want you to take this key and you, you want to say, thank you, God. Thank you. I am. That's the, the big oneness being. Uh, you, and you want, you want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for this key. And then you thank want you. to just make sure you put it way up in the sky and turn it. And that's all you got to do. And that opens up 
the Dome of Darkness. It's really interesting. When I first got to Minneapolis, I'm in I'm in uh, one of, I'm in Judy's retreat house right now. Uh, beautiful. I'm hanging out here in the woods. I'm loving life. And um, when I first got to Minneapolis, I mean, it was one dark booger. It was dark. It had a dome of darkness. It really did. And so there's a lot of bad rap going on uh, with Minneapolis, the George Floyd thing, and a lot of different things. And it, it's a sad thing because the most non-prejudiced city that I ever traveled to in America uh, is Minneapolis. Minneapolis, they didn't fight the Civil War. They, huh? Civil War? We had one, right? I mean, they, they didn't quite get, I mean, they weren't North and South Carolina, believe me, where I grew up in North Carolina. And and so, uh, so I'm like, really, there's issues, of, you know, like this? And, and so, and there are issues and there are bad things that go on there and there's bad, everything there's bad people on one side, there's bad people on the other side, there's, there's good people on one side and there's good people on the other side. You know, it's the same thing with, with everything we do politically. And so, but when I got here, it was a lot of darkness. It was this crazy, you know, uh, you know, heavy, heavy, heavy energy. And so I sit here in the woods at Judy's retreat property, which I love uh, to hang out in with Judy, of course. And, and I, I, I just cleared for a couple of days. Right. And I mean, I cleared, I didn't, I wasn't working on clearing just the retreat property. I was clearing the city. And, and so, and, and, and then uh, it was crazy because everything we did was perfect. It was perfect shows. Perfect. We had crazy shows. Judy, you got any of those pictures of the shows or are you at the, at the Halloween party? Where are you at? And so, Wait, and so, Judy, not those pictures, not not those pictures, the other pictures. the other ones, yeah, yeah, the other ones oh, we can show oh, everybody, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. But we had no, it was it was amazing. We had like we had like crazy, like four thousand people or something show up, you know. And so, uh, and and it was it was really really just beautiful, fun, great, very spiritual. You know, thank you for all you guys that stood in line for hours, you know, and and to talk to me for a minute or two and. And and it was it was really really an amazing time. Um, a great performer, uh, Paul Russell was was the singer that night, and he he was he was fantastic. And so, but but all these different things happened. We had a few radio shows and TV things and stuff, and 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 so it was just crazy. But the interest that people had in there we are <laughs> there we are. And so Judy's driving, and and there's uh, Tobias. And Jared in the back seat laughing. That's all they do is laugh. <laughs> they laugh a lot. And so, uh, and so, but we're pulling up out, out in front of the venue. And, um, uh, but it, it was just everything went so perfect, you know, throw up any of those pictures. Those pictures are fun. And so, so we're having a good time. We're in Minnesota and Minnesota can be fun, even if it's cold. And, and we had a, a few days of cold. It snowed. Um, and, and so it, 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 it was just great. Judy, can you feel a difference in the vibe? here since i showed up I'm, I'm not i'm not tooting my own egoed out but i know i can clear a city and a world and a universe and i know you guys can too and you guys got to think like that in your head if you're sitting around bitching about how things are right fix it fix it ask god for this really, yeah I can feel the difference it's it's a little different right it's a little different because i can feel it and so there's judy it's and her finest moment Mm -hmm. There, there's Tobias. It's Pat. You know, there. Oh, oh, there. You guys are are crazy. You Wonder Woman. Are, woo. Woo. There we are. And so, that's perfect. And so, but it it was just the the funnest. We had so much fun since we've been here. It's just great. And so we wish you guys were with us. So so I'm going to run around America a little bit, and then and then uh, we're getting ready for a spiritual retreat in North Carolina. You know, and so. Uh, and so the spiritual retreat in North Carolina is December 7th. Am I right, Dino? I can't remember. Yep, Am I right? December yeah. 7th, 8, 9, 10. All right. And so that's perfect. And, and my favorite thing to do is to decorate. You got any pictures of the house and, and Christmas pictures of the house? I don't know if you do or not. And so we, we decorate just a little bit. We we don't decorate a little a, like bad. We decorate like, a you know, like crazy. And so so we, we had to add extra electricity to the house just so we could actually run all the lights but there's there's um but we have wonderful celebration and so for our, our holiday retreat we're having my birthday party which is right there um and uh and so we're having my birthday party and then we're having a thanksgiving party we're having a christmas party 
And then the last day we're having uh, a New Year's Eve party. So, so we're doing all these different parties in, in, in one, um, and this, not in one, but every day we're having a different party. And so we're celebrating, we're celebrating the holidays. We're appreciating each other. We're loving each other. And we're just hanging out in this beautiful holiday celebration way. Michelle, of course, will, will be hanging out and, and, and doing her thing. There we are. It looks like Griswold family Christmas, right? It's fun. It's fun. And so please come and join us 702-822-0548 or 800-827-GARY, uh, of course, uh, for a private reading from me. And if you want an in-person private reading, I'm actually right here in Minnesota and I'll be glad to talk to you. And so come and see me, come and see me live. And so, but hang out with us. We're looking forward to the retreat. Rolo, thank you so much, buddy. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. And so, you know, here's here's the thing. Let me uh, if I could see the uh, the gallery view, that'd be cool. And so, and, and so there we go. And so, I just want to talk to you guys and see what's going on with you. You guys got a lot of stuff happening, Judy. Let me see you. I can't see you. You know, for some reason, what? I don't know why my, my my yeah. There we are. All right, good. Ah. Uh, is it switching backwards and forwards? Is it going to Judy or is it not? You guys tell me. From my angle, it's not. There. I got you and Judy spotlighted right now. Yeah, but it's not bopping uh -oh. backwards and forwards like it usually does. And so when somebody talks, it's not showing up. I don't know if you guys are catching that or if I'm just delusional. It's your settings. I'm sure. It's got to oh. be. Yeah, I don't know. Because oh. it's not bouncing back and forth. Oh, okay. It's not, not on my side. There we are. No. All right. Oh. Judy, do something. Wave. I'm joking. Just stare at him, Judy. Oh. Just stare. <laughs> Did I bounce back and forth? Well, Judy, have you noticed your luck has changed? Yes, I'm gonna go right to the casino right after the show. <laughs> no, but I you know, I see you, I really see from everything you're telling me, you know, when we're, we're hanging out and you're going, Oh my god, you won't believe blah 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 blah. And you're talking about luck basically yes it's and so i mean everything's just falling into place and everything i'm doing with the properties and it's just stuff everything showing no, but up just, no but but light makes you guys lucky and I've, I've seen it with you like since i've been up here right and it and, and, and so um and, and you're beautiful in every way and i love you to death i mean i totally love you to death and and we so, just want to stay longer that's all. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm talking into it. And so, but, but, but no, but I see, I see you being very lucky. I really do. And, and so with me, I'm, I'm a good, I'm, I'm a, I'm a good talker, but I'm a good, I'm a really good listener. And, and so I listen and I try to figure out what is the beat. Is there a different beat happening? Is something going on a little different? You know, whatever. Right. And so with that, but I see you being very, very lucky. And and so I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. And so, but when there's a lot of light, there we go. It switched over to Judy finally. There we go. Um, and so from my angle, from my from my side, I don't know what happened there. And so, but but it's actually pretty amazing um at at watching that occur. And and um so it's a great I'm, feeling. It's even better of a feeling. <laughs> good. Good, good. Anyway, so keep on being lucky. That's perfect. Okay, anyway, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And so, that. Dean, who we who we got? We got Michelle tonight. Is she around or is she somewhere else? No, we don't have Michelle. Doc, Dr. Grossman is with us. It was his birthday last night. Ah. Um, we got Dan and Pat from Minnesota with us. We have a bunch of people from California. We did a big charity event uh, fundraiser with Fallon. Oh, and yeah, yeah, that's right. For Yeah, for the ocean. Right? Yeah, for the ocean, yeah. and they're yeah, you, they're all doing that right now. They're breaking down the setup, and then we have a big dinner in an hour. So yeah, Michelle's over uh, there because she she coordinated the whole thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. How'd it go? Did it go good? Yes, it went very well. Okay. Oh, they were happy. A lot of people showed up. A lot of people had fun. They were doing sound bowls and yoga, and uh, Doctor Grossman did a big speech about health, and he did his dance that he does and everybody was excited and so oh, it was a fun nice. time yeah excellent excellent i'd love it oh and, and tyler's here oh good yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And, david, awesome. and david simon oh good so you guys are that's great that's great wonderful 
Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So I never know everything going on, but I'm so happy that it is going on. That's good. And 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 so I, I really read that there was some breakthroughs that you guys made there that are really nice breakthroughs, you know, and I'm not sure what they are, but I see it, you know. And, well, and we're I, all meditating at sunset, you know, on the West Coast, the sun sets into the ocean. And it has that little green spark right when it ah, goes. Yeah. So you saw that? It's called yeah, what's we, it called? It's called the green moment it, or no, it's something it's else. What's it called? Something. I don't know what it's called. Emru something. But the the lady from the Shumash um Indians were explaining to us all about it, and we happened to see it last night. Nice. Yeah. nice. And so David was there, and David was like, Wow, look at all the spiritual gifts coming in. So it was a really cool moment. That's a very rare thing because I know, you know, in, in Florida, in the Gulf of Mexico, it happens often. And um, I, I used to go out every, you know, few days it would, when we lived in, in Florida on a boat. And um, and I would go out and wait for that. I think they call it in Florida, the green moment. And and so um, so I would go out there and um, and wait. And, and I only saw it maybe three times. And so it's very rare. So if you guys saw it last night, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. But it feels like you had some breakthrough moments. And so that would be a breakthrough moment. During that time, when I saw yesterday, yesterday was a crazy gift day. We got these amazing gifts that really gave us these giant higher selves. And in a little bit, I'm going to get you guys hooked up to where you can feel that. And it's where you can see that and you can experience that. And so that's really going to help you guys out a lot. I appreciate you so much. Who am I talking to now, Dean? Find me some folks to talk to. Judy's got some folks. How about, uh, how about Paige? Paige, I'm going to Machog. All right, Paige, Paige please I'm... unmute yourself. Hey, girl. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. What's your question? So I just typed in to um, uh, Michelle V. Lindsay and she, or I wrote that I have been searching for my birth mom for over 10 years now. Um, and I'm at a dead end. I did. I'm, I'm from Minnesota, but I was born in Seoul, South Korea. And I, I was adopted in 1984. And I, I I've done the, um, ancestry and all that and I did find a first cousin in Stillwater which is only like uh 45 minutes wow. away right but what is awesome because on ancestry I get like I have like 400 and some on distant cousins but nothing really that close but so it's pretty rare that I found a first first cousin but I really really want to know if I have siblings because being adopted, I'm an only child here. And that's obviously to find them. I need to see if I can find my birth mom, but I'm at a dead end. I you, have, you actually have six, six siblings. Oh, wow. And so you have quite a, quite a few. And, <clears throat> and your mom, um, it was a restaurant where your mom worked at one time. Okay. <clears throat> and, and, uh, um, this rest, she's really right around that restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Cause, um, my first cousin, she did, uh, we, we believe from hearing about her story, we, um, there was like a big tragedy that must have happened because we were, were within born within the same year. So something tragic must have happened that they gave, you know, two babies up in the same, you know, um, same well, time was, I, I see politically it was a little crazy <clears throat> and yeah. they were they were just just very afraid uh and anything they could do to to for their baby to live a better life they were into it right yeah. it, so do it you was, think it, there'll be any way that i could find her yeah here's the thing i want you to ask god for the gift to light her up god okay? yeah just okay. Ask God. Because here's what happens when anytime I people call me and they're always losing objects or losing things, they can't mm -hmm. find stuff. Uh, and and so either I'll see exactly where it is or I'll say, let me light up the object object. Right. And then they go, oh, my God, I found it. You see. And okay. so I want you to let's light your mom up. Do you know her name? 
I don't that and that was the the issue that there was nothing you know that was really there on 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 the paperwork does a, does a cousin have an auntie that she's aware of an aunt that she's aware of um she, I am not quite sure I know she, they she did search for her birth mom they found her um contacted her and she didn't want anything to do with her that was the aunt her. That was the aunt. That, okay. That's an aunt. That her her mom. She's a cousin. Her mom would be an aunt. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She'll talk. Okay. Yeah. She she just took no really quick. And you, you know sometimes you got to talk people into things. And so okay. I think I think you'd be able to convince her. I think she was hurt, freaked out. You know whatever. Uh, but with her, you know, with because it'd be her daughter. You know, so she's right. She's a horrible person for giving her daughter up, uh, but you are not her daughter. And I think you could actually get in touch with her and work it out. I think you can talk her into it. Uh, so she knows there's your contact. Okay. And that's okay. how, you, that's how you'll find your mom. Okay. And okay. then, our, and all you got warm. now, right then you got warm right there. Second. Yeah. <laughs> that means, okay. Now the energy hooked up, see how it works. See yes. the light, the light hooked up with you right then. I see your face sweating even. And so, so that's, it hooked up. So that's how you now, so don't skim over it. Don't do, okay. Next thing, next thing, next thing. Right. Don't do that. Realize you just found your mom. All you got to do is follow through what I told you. Okay. Okay. Right? Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Good luck with you. Good luck. I, I'm excited. Call us back and tell us though. Okay. I will. Yeah. Thank I love you, these stories. I love these stories. These are good. These are good stories. Who are we talking to, guys? Who are we talking to? Can we go to Shauna next, please? All right. Shauna. You see her, Dean? I got her. Okay. Hi, Shauna. Hi. Hey, my girl. What's going on? How Hi. are you? Hi, Gary. I'm with Angela in Ojai. Hi, Angela. Hi. Hey, my girl. <laughs> I How wanted to... No, I wanted to tell you that um, a few weeks ago, we talked about my son and you turn him around and it was a miracle. Oh, He's good. a miracle. He stopped good. taking all his um, doctor drugs for depression and everything. Wow. And he's completely a different person. Wow. wow. I, yeah, I can cry. Congratulations right now. to you. I mean, this is great for you. This is wonderful. Well, I want to see. Mm -hmm. well, well, thank you. Thank you for thanking me. But you know what I see? I actually see his heart is open now and he's open. He's open to love and, and um, he really does love you. And, and I see your relationship developing and being wonderful. So I, I think you're going to be fine. I'm just clearing off his head a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of darkness. He's stubborn. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little darkness off his head and, and his heart. There we go. But, but he looks a thousand percent better than the last time I looked at him. So, Hey, it worked good. Awesome. Can I, Perfect. that's great. Can I ask you a question then? Because it works so great with him. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you about me? <laughs> yeah, sure. You want to fix you. Okay. Uh, I wanna... when, when I look at you, you have a, a bunch of demons that are around you that are, that have spears in the back of your neck and head. Does your neck hurt? Uh-huh. Okay. And can I take those out of your head and out of yeah. your neck? All right, there we go. There we are. And there we go. How does your neck feel now? A lot better. Crazy, right? Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you have a demon squeezing your heart with claws. Ooh. So there's a demon with claws squeezing your heart. And can I get that out of there? Is that okay? Please. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Yeah, I have yeah, I have a little heartache yeah. right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I see relationships and I see you have one old relationship, which was a nightmare. Um and you have a, a and that brings every night. It's sort of like a, they're all lining up to be next nightmare, next nightmare, <laughs> next night, make any sense to you? Yes. A little bit, right. Okay. Well, so can I get rid of that? Would you like to get out of that nightmare? Oh uh, gosh, yes. You know, Please. line, you've got a line of nightmare relationships. Can exactly. I get rid of that? Please. There we go. Okay. I got rid of it. You can breathe through your nose. Now you feel very light in your head. Your face got warm. You're hot all the way down to your toes. Look, you turn red. Uh, there we go. Feel better. So much better. Okay. Wow. Now ah, crazy, right? Okay. I'm getting rid of a bunch of bunch of demons. You've got uh, about 200 demons. Now I'm working. Let me tell you, okay, now I'm working in this new dimension. I just figured out today and yesterday. 
and I hadn't got it all figured out yet, but I'm I'm getting rid of the the biggest amount of hell dimensions that I could see spiritually was 64. That was it. And I could clear 64 hell dimensions. I'm now clearing 240 hell dimensions I see on you from this new new point of view I got. Can I get rid of those? Please. You're the first person I did this with uh, on the air, okay? And so, and here we go. And I'm getting rid of all those. I can do it very fast. It's amazing. I can do it that fast because if you understood how much good that does, you'd freak. Uh, your bones feel warm inside. Your yes. Hip, your hip joints are hot, <laughs> right? right? Do you have pain? Do you have pain in your hips? I what I had, but right now it feels warm, like you said. Yeah, right. And so it goes away. So this gets rid of aging. This particular dimension that I just bumped into today and yesterday gets rid of being old and wore out and tired and possessed. And I could go on and on, but it, mm -hmm. it gets rid of, uh, it, it's like residue. Sometimes you just get residue from being alive on the planet earth. And, and so, but now then I see you looking really bright, really light. How's your hips and your feet and, and how's all that feel now? Yeah, no, I feel like I'm feeling it too. She feels it too. Angela feels it too. No, I feel can you feel it? Angela, can you empath that? Lean over. Lean over. Okay. Talk to me. Yeah, can you? I right. feel I feel no, alive. I feel like you're saying I feel feel really I feel crazy, like right? So this is this is the dimension I just bopped into where I'm able to let in about mm, a million times more light than what I could four days, three or four days ago. So what does this do? I don't know. All I know is God is speeding it up for us little human beings down here to light up our heaven so it don't turn into a hell. This is what I believe. So there's a lot of things going on in the world where the our world could turn into a hell very easily because with all these hell dimensions that I can see moving in closer, hey, good luck for all of us. But or if we get rid of them, then and 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 we can all do this and you can all do this too. As soon as I figure out the all the science of this and exactly what spiritual gift does what, I'm just I couldn't wait to introduce you to it. Usually when I get a new dimension that opens, I wait a couple of weeks until I get really savvy in it before I tell you about it. But I I really heard let it happen tonight. Tell you guys about it tonight. And so this is a dimension where you get like a million times more light than you usually do. Now you're feeling really good all the way up to your body, your back, your head, your body, you, you know, your head feels good. You usually have a weird pain up in here. You know, I don't know if you have TMJ, but oh. you? yeah, really bad. Yeah. And I feel your TMJ straightening out. Isn't that weird? Oh my God. Yeah. So you, you, you'll see. And th but this particular dimension gets rid of all that stuff. And so, so you should be really good. You got to let me know how you do it. I'm going to come to Ohio in a few weeks. I'm going to be over there. Oh, doing stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm coming to see uh, Richard and Alice, who is Angela's uh, mom and dad, you know, and they're, they're, of course, I love them. They're my family. We want to talk to you about our school. What? We want to talk to you about our school when you come. I'd love to talk to you about your, the school. Yeah. You guys do a lot with gifted kids. I love you guys for that. That's beautiful. That's who you should, that's who you should be when you grow up, Angela, you know? <laughs> oh, that's who you are. Wow. Okay. You, you work with gifted kids, Well, I love you. Good luck with your son. He looks good to me right now. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. Gary. Give him a lot. Give him, well, appreciate you. Give him a lot give, of love. Yeah. Give him a lot of love. Hold his hand real that's tight. That's okay? what I've been doing. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Gary. Hold, Thank you. Uh, Hey, hold his hand real tight. That's what I heard. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Anna, thanks, Angela. Who, uh, who, next? who are we talking to? Let's go to Jody Williams, please. All right, Jody, unmute yourself, please. Okay. Jody, how are you? Hi. I'm good. Hi. Thank you. Good, good, good. Right. I, like, I like you. I really I like you. you. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I just feel this wonderful, warm heart when I talk to you. So that's good. That's really good. What's your question, honey? Thank What's you. your question? Um, I'm, I go through times and it's been happening again lately. Um, I uh, was in an accident when I was six and had, I always say death experience, but near death, I guess it was. Um, what I remember of it is what I told, you know, my mom. 
I don't have a memory specifically of it. And I stopped talking about it pretty shortly after that. And so um, that's had its ramifications throughout my life and whatnot, but I don't regret any of it. I don't want anything to go away, but I'm curious, like sometimes I go through these times where I think, do I need to get, try to get hypnotized or something to remember it more, but then I don't want to, any creation or something to think I'm doubting it. Do you, what about if you just got, it? what about if you just got rid of so A lot of this is traumas, you know, for you, right? I mean, you've, you, you realize you have a lot of old traumas that just keep on reoccurring, popping up, popping in, you, you know, controlling you a little bit. You want me to get rid of the traumas? I can get rid of them. If you got hypnotized, what are you getting hypnotized for to get rid of the traumas? Right? You want to get rid of them? I can't hear you. Uh oh, you got to unmute again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Unmute yourself, Jody. There we go. Okay, oh, got it. Oh, um, I couldn't hear you. So trauma. Yeah. So, so I just see. Sorry. That, yeah, I got muted. I muted. Yeah, but that's I've okay. Got a lot of. I mean, so, yeah. yeah, I see. You're a beautiful soul, but you got all these traumas beating you to death. Can I just get rid of those for you? <laughs> sure. All right. Let me do that. All right. We don't have to talk about it. We don't have to do it. We don't have to do it. I can just get rid of them. In this new dimension I'm working in, I'm getting rid of 100 and what are we? 21 hell dimensions where you're traumatized. What is a hell dimension? A hell dimension is an upside down pyramid. If you go to the, go to the illustrations of Dante's Inferno done in the 1820s, you guys can Google it and you'll see what these are. And so, but that it was a very accurate. A description of what happens. Um, our higher self angels get sucked into some black hole and, and they go into this upside down pyramid where they get totally uh, mutilated. And so you're getting beat up for your whole life. Uh, and that's what a trauma is. <clears throat> and I'm going to get rid of those. Can I get rid of those? You want me to, right? You got to want me to. Please, very much so. Yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. All right. And so now there's 121 of them. And used to, it would take me about a day to get rid of one of them. And I got rid of 121 of them that fast. Okay. That's the reason your feet are warming up, right? Yeah. Okay. You feel light all through your body. See, that's what it looks like. It's upside down pyramid. It looks just like that. That's part of the old illustrations. And, and so, and, and, and those little beings down there are getting beat up uh, by the dark energies and, and it's just really terrible. And so, but there we are. I just cleared you out of that. And so if you notice now your sinuses are opening, your head feels really kind of bizarrely lighter. Feel that a little bit. Yeah. My yeah. chest. I better... and your chest is warm. That's better. That's good. Oh, good. Oh, good, honey. There we are. I see who you are and I just love you. You know, I mean, I really do see who you are and I really adore you. And so I, I think you wish the best on everybody, even no matter how nasty they are. And so, yes. and so if they're nasty, you just wish them better. And so that's, that's your, that's your creed in life. And that, that's a beautiful human being to be. I see who you are. And no, so you are so, you are really gifted. It's amazing. Well, you, you know, well, well, you're really gifted. Uh, I don't do anything that I don't tell everybody else they can do. So when I figure out something that I can do, I'm just figuring out something you can do. So I got rid of 121 of your hell dimensions, which will solve a, a whole lot of issues in your life and not leave you traumatized. And so there we go. And as I fix that, I just see you beautiful. I see you full of light. I'm getting visions of rainbows all around your head. Hey, Judy, can you find that picture of me with a rainbow in my head? I keep on showing because I love that picture that you took. Judy actually took this. I was doing a um, a workshop one day uh, for tapping in or uh, the master class. And I was down by the little waterfall on the retreat property there in North Carolina, my home. And, 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 uh, Judy went, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I go, oh my God, what? She goes, oh my God, oh my God. And she kept on taking pictures. And so, but this was, um, a um a picture um of, of and it was a rainbow above my head that just kind of showed up and so there's all these different lights and hues and colors these days everybody that i read in a private reading this week freaked out because they're seeing a giant light above me and that's because i was in pathing them while i was reading them and there was a huge light above them and so that's the reason you feel so warm so your light's back in your body but when I when I rescue your higher selves from those hundred and twenty one upside down 
uh, pyramids, right, which are hill dimensions, all that light goes back into your body. You feel warmer. See, you keep on feeling warmer and lighter and more okay and calmer. And if I, and if I shut up for a minute, listen to this. How quiet's your head? Crazy Ooh, quiet. That is, it sure is. Yeah, it's quiet. See, yeah. there's see my little rainbow above my head. <laughs> anyway, and so... And so, but we, we, you know, we keep on taking pictures of stupid little lights and things and rainbows and, and hues and colors. And, and, and so, so, but this is, this is what it is. Earth is turning into a heaven. So we got to push really hard guys to get earth to turn into a heaven. So it don't turn into a hell. There's a lot of people pushing on the hell side of the trade. And so we got to push really, really hard. You guys meditate, love each other, even if you're idiots. And if you got an idiot, just realize, well, that's my idiot. There we are. And if you're an idiot, go, I'm your idiot. I mean, whatever it is, it's okay. But as long as you love and as long as you have oneness, uh, it's going to be okay. Tangle God up in that a little bit and you got it made. And so, but I see you looking good. You got a bunch of spiritual gifts. You got, uh, Oh, what's the number? 730 some, 37. Um, you got 737 spiritual gifts back that you had lost with those hell dimensions and those traumas. Wow. Freaky. Amazing. There you go. Good luck. Okay. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Let us know. Let us know. I love you. I love you. I just feel you. I love you. I can feel Thanks, it. Jerry. That's so Let cool. Me. That was cool. Thank you. That was pretty amazing uh jess jaskarin could we go to jaskarin J but judy did i do a good job finally did i finally do a good you know you, know? you finally finally did a good job mm. i, I can't say it, it enough. oh good who are we talking to who are we talking to if Hello, you can see, hey. if you see and where you're from oh uh, yeah um i'm i'm just Karen. i'm from uh toronto canada Oh, nice. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. you. And so, and, and so what's, what's your religion? I love you. I love your, your, your turban. Um, I'm Sikh. I thought you were Sikh. I love it. I love it. When I have like many best friends that are Sikh, right? And you guys just, you know, your thing makes sense. I mean, I don't know if I was going to jump up and down over a religion, I'd probably jump up and down over a Sikh religion. Because you guys just did, I mean, it's just common sense. Well, of course it's that way. And of course it's this. And yeah, of course that makes sense. But I, I love you guys. And so, so I have a very Thank good you. friend. I have a very good friend that was a personal assistant to me for, for a couple of years in Minneapolis. Um, and I said, I don't know what you are, but you're destined for greatness. It has to do with Hollywood. Well, now he has the largest film festival uh, it's the Minneapolis Film Festival every year. And and it's, and, you know, his name's Jayton. But anyway, and he's Sikh and his family. And anyway, whatever. So I got Sikh buddies forever. And so anyway, what's your question? What's your question? Um, Gary, uh, I have kind of nasal congestion. I'm not yeah. sure what actually it is. Mm -hmm. But you, know, it's a, you have a dimension. A you know, your fourth dimension is blocked totally. One, two, three, four. Read the book, Your Keys to Heaven. Dean and I wrote this book like 20 years ago. And so I'm reading it. Right oh, you are? You're reading well, it now. Okay, let me I'm yeah, like, let me fix your nose. Mm -hmm. Let me fix your sinuses. There we are. Your fourth dimension is totally blocked. Blocked. Good luck with, with that. If you didn't do this thing I'm doing. Ah, oh, there we go. Your sinus is open. Yeah. Feel it? See? Yeah. How about that? It feels different, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and see? Now it's like it's now it got really open. Feel the difference? Yeah. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. How about now? Feel that? Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah, that's I have been trying this for like I don't know how long. <laughs> how long? How long's your nose been blocked? I think maybe about a year, I would say. A year, and you had this problem. Yeah. yeah, you had a dark energy that was on you, and I got rid of the dark energy. And so once I got rid of that, then you're back to you. Yeah, you'll be all right. There we go. Good Lord. Yeah, dark energy should do all kinds of weird things, and there we are. Yeah. Take a breath, Take a breath through your nose. Do it. There you go. See? How about that? Yeah. I feel something different. Uh, I can't explain it. <laughs> well, there we are. 
You don't have to yeah. explain it. It just happened. And all you do is just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Because all I did was use a lot of God light and run it through your head and clear the mm -hmm. darkness out of your out of your head that was messing with you. Uh, you have you have crazy stuff. You know, when when a lot of times with different religions, especially from different cultures, um, you know, people are jealous. They project darkness. It feels like another religion mojoed you. And so um, and it was a gener more like a generational curse or something. And I lifted it off your head <clears throat> and off your being uh, off of you and off your mom. Actually, it came from your mom's side of the family. And I just cleared mm -hmm. that off. And so look how you can breathe through your, your lungs now. Feel the difference. See? Yeah. There. It's okay. gone. Yeah. I got rid of the whole thing. I got rid of it. There we are. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 I appreciate you. You're very spiritually, you're very spiritually gifted. And this dark, cursy energy that was on you uh, was trying to block your spiritual gifts. I want you to ask God for this golden diamond key. Say, God, give me the golden diamond key. And you guys should piggyback on this and get the same gift. God, give me the golden diamond key, please. God, give me the golden diamond key, please. All right. Now reach up, grab the key and put it up into the sky and turn it. You know, ah, now you got a, a giant pile of spiritual gifts around you, including abundance, light, gold bricks, money, loot, love, all kinds of stuff. Look how you feel. My head feels something. I don't know. <laughs> you'll be all right. Enough. Yeah, kind of tingly. Yeah, you'll be okay. So there we are. Good luck. I love you. Tear it up. <laughs> okay. Thanks, you got to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Say it. Can you say thank you, God? Oh, you have yes. to unmute yourself again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Thank you, God. There he is. I got to do And then it, it seals it in. You're set. You're good. Thanks, buddy. That was fun. Thank you, that was fun. He had a mojo. He had a gener generational curse. That's kind of crazy. Wow. You never know. You never know what it is blocking you. Anyway. Hey, Gary, um, I got someone in the chat wants to know if you could do a group healing or a group clearing of to get rid of evil and dark energy on people yeah there i did it oh was i needing to be more theatrical no i believe you oh my god <laughs> i will be glad to clear you Ooh, you know no i'm serious guys it is so there's so much light available mesoe there's so much light available on the planet earth i can clear it in a blink and so can you. Anytime I get a spiritual gift, you're a minute away from getting the same spiritual gift. That's where it is. That's how it works. And so, so uh, you guys, I just cl I, I cleared everybody. There you go. So you guys are all going to feel a little warm in your feet. And and um, let me let me see. Can I get to the gallery view? That'd be cool. And so, if I could, um, there we go. Let me just look at you guys. I'm looking at you. I'm just going to clear all you got. There we go. There we go. There we go. How many people feel a little warm in their feet now? A little lighter feeling. A little lighter feeling. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Let me talk to Alice and Richard. Let me talk to Alice and Richard. I see them waving. And there's Patricia. Patricia. All right, Alice, please unmute yourself. <clears throat> this is my family in Ojai. Hey, guys. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Unmute yourself. There we are. We're eating, you guys are... we're eating food. That's what we always do. Yeah, you're <laughs> eating without me. How did that happen? Anyway, I'm going to come in and invade your world. I'll bring like, you know, 17,000, 17, you know, hungry people and, you know, I don't know, 14 or 15 hookers. And I don't know what else is going to happen. <laughs> something, something, something. Patricia's laughing. Anyway, so Patricia, how's your love life? What's going on? Okay, now. I followed your advice and I reached out. He set up a date for today and he canceled. Oh, did he go for next week though? No, it's, it's no, he just said he's moving furniture to his other place. Well, I see that he'll be all settled next week. He got his knickers in a twist. Okay. And so, uh, but I see he'll be more settled next week. So don't give up that easy. And, and, See what happens. Say, uh, well, what's going on next week? I just don't feel like it's up to me to reach out anymore because I feel it's um, a spiritual connection, and if he can't uh, be open, oh, oh, that's nice. But do you do you have anything to lose? 
Yeah. What do you have to lose, right? You have everything to gain. And so I just think that he gets a little nervous uh, and he was a little bit overwhelmed with whatever he was doing, you know? And and so sometimes moving is the biggest traumatizing thing in the world. And, and so um, uh, tell him you're a great organizer and you look forward to helping him sort his cabinets out. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, and say so, no connection there, or am I just like, no, it feels good. You got to turn the volume, you got to, you got to not give up so easy. You know, don't give up, don't give up, don't go to passive aggressive. Well, if you're not interested, then I'm not interested. You know, kiss my ass. No, you can't do that. You gotta, you gotta go, you gotta kiss, you know, give it another shot. That's what I see. You know, just pull the, pull the crank one more time. The slot machine's gonna pay off. Just do it. <laughs> that's, that's what I see. Ask Judy. Judy, am I pretty good at this? Yep, the slot well, machine paid off. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Yepper. Yeah. So there you are. That's what I think. That's my that's there's my advice. That's all I got. There's my advice. <laughs> and so I love you guys. Richard Allen's, how y'all doing? Y'all okay? Y'all good? We're great, Richard. All good. We're all great. Good. Oh, good. I love y'all a lot. So, can't, wait to, can't wait to see your face. I person. can't wait to come and eat. Where I'm going to eat? I'm going to oh, eat for day. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh my God, that's the best <laughs> fruit salad in the world. A bowl wow. of fruit. <laughs> yeah, I can actually smell that psychically. I really can. I don't know. My mouth started you... watering. Ah! Right? <laughs> yeah, because Judy knows what it tastes like. Right, Judy? Oh my yes. God! I don't know what you do to make your fruit salad that good, but it is. A, it up. <laughs> it, no, it's something special. I don't know what it is. You got some sort. Of, you got something you throw in there when I'm not looking, and so. But it's like it, it's really that good. But it, but I can smell it. Can you smell it, Judy? That's crazy. I can smell it. I can That's taste good. it. My mouth uh, is seriously watering. <laughs> wow. That's freaky. All right. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. We'll be there carrying on. All right. Thanksgiving. So, you, Thanksgiving. Thank you. Yeah. These, yeah. Love you back. I mean, these guys, they, you know, they have like about a hundred people show up for Thanksgiving. Can you imagine? What is that? They are great. Uh, they are they great. Just with it. <laughs> yeah. And people just, you know, a hundred folks for Thanksgiving. So I got to go help cook turkeys or something, something like that. That's what, it, what we're doing. Who are we talking to? Go. Who are we talking yeah. to guys? What's next, Judy? Let's, let's go to Samsung SMP610. I can oh, pronounce sure. that. I'm sure you that's the phone. You are name. smarter than you look. How did you well, get to you. Yeah, that's good. All right, Samsung, on please. There we are. Hey. There you go. Oh, there we go. Hey, I hear your dog barking. <laughs> your dog's like, hey, hey, answer. answer. Oh, that, that's the dog next door to me, Gary. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dog, and Bella's sitting here growling back at the dog, so. Oh, no. <laughs> well, she's going to protect you. I'm yeah. I'm sure you feel real safe. <laughs> I do. The dog weighs six pounds. Anyway, and, and so, so girl, so how are you? What's your question? What's your question? Um. Well, here's the thing. I just feel like um, I kind of stand on a ledge, and I feel like anxiety kind of holds me back from progressing okay. and going farther. You know, right, I want to... Yeah, like everybody does, you know, I want to lose weight. I feel like that ledge is there, but I just can't push myself off of it to, you know, the get jump. my mind wrapped around it or start, mm -hmm. you know, a new career or anything. It's just like I'm debilitated you know, and not um, wanting to go any further. I love you. Let me let me fix you. OK, <laughs> can I fix you? You can definitely. Right. I love it. All right. I want you to ask God for a brand new heart right now. God. I would love a brand new heart right now. Okay, please. Please, God. Please. Please, God. There it goes. Okay, now you're, you got a brand new heart. Pull it into your chest. There we go. There we are. There. You feel light all over. Sinus I is do. Open. Head got bright. You feel like smiling for no reason. See? Feel that? I do. Yeah. Honey, your heart was broken. Everybody broke your heart. You know, and now you're going to be okay. You're a sweetie. You know, you're a sweetie. There we go. All right. And now I want you to ask God for a brand new spirit. Say, God, give me a brand new golden spirit, please. God, give me a brand new golden spirit, please. All right. All right. Now there's uh, a bunch of uh, demon dimensions that's ate you alive. Can I clear those for you? Please. Okay. I'm up to um, 212. 
Oh, the demon dimensions. Okay. Wow. See how you got dizzy right then? I did. Oh, okay. Really dizzy. Don't, don't pass out. But if you do, it'd be good for the show, but don't pass out. <laughs> <laughs> but, just, but, but you're, you're, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm pulling all these off of you. And so understand I have one days of experience at even being able to do this. And so I pulled 112 demon dimensions that had eight, all of your higher selves to where you almost didn't have anything left. Oh, That's wow. the reason you couldn't do anything because you're going, what is wrong with me? Why can I not find the umph to pull this off? Right. Mm -hmm. Why can I not, God, why can I not find the, 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 the thing, whatever that thing is inside of me that gives me the willpower to pull this off? How, do, how can I, you know, keep on eating or not losing weight and doing all these things that are just beating me to death. And so, so the, when you felt that dizziness, it turned that whole dimension around and I spun all these dark hell dimensions off of you. And when I did, now I'm, I'm, I can clear them really fast. You have no idea how much work I can do really quick th th since I got these gifts in the last two days. So I'm kind of showing off for myself, to be honest with you, because I don't know if anybody else can see or feel anything I'm doing, but, but I think you can. And so there we go. And now your whole skeleton went gold and there we are. And now I saw, let me count the demons we got rid of. Oh, uh, I've got an angel that'll give me always the count of things. Uh, 2,661. Oh. And so, so that's how many demons I pulled off you. Wow. How quiet's your head? Wow. It's very quiet. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, honey. Feel better? Feel better? I do. I, I really do. I know. I know you really do. And, and I, I'm just so happy that God gave me the gifts uh, to do that. Okay? Thank you. And so. And, Thank God. And, you, and you're one of my first victims. <laughs> okay. Or, okay. Or whatever, Thank you. Or, or whatever. That's good. <laughs> You're good. It's good to be my victim. And so there but you I, go. <laughs> but I, 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 but I, I'm just so happy because that the, the gifts I got now can do it that quick. And, and so, and that intense, um, but all of your goals will come true and all of your dreams will come true if you try now. Okay. You got hot when I said that. I did. I did. I got yeah. really warm. <laughs> That's because I'm telling you, I'm talking from a real high space. And so you, you can do anything and everything you want to do. There's no, nothing you can't do. You can okay. do Okay. Okay. And you, you got it. Can you, can you let us know? Can you let us know? I, how yeah, you do it? I'll, yeah. I'll come on again and let you know. Go check in every week and tell us. Okay. Okay. I will. All right. Definitely. You, you just need a lot of love. I want all you guys to project all this love to her. Tell me your first name. My name's Jessica. Jessica, I'm projecting all this love to you. And so is everybody else. Thank you're gonna you. Win. You're going to win now. You'll see. It's easy. It's not <laughs> hard to win. It's not hard to win. It's hard to lose. Okay. Right. Right. You're going to be good. Thanks, honey. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. God, I feel Thank so good. Person. I feel so good. Ooh, I can, I can feel, feel power. Can you feel it, Judy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can my feel it God. In my neck and Oh, yes. if you guys just piggybacked off of some of her gifts, you guys got really taken care of there. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so I want to talk to Thank Raina. You. Can I talk to Raina? Raina, how you doing? Can I talk to you? Hey, my girl. What you up to? I love you. What you doing? Oh, hold on. Let me find her real quick. Or why? Oh, what name is she under, Gary? Raina. Uh, Raina K K I R R E S H. Chris. Oh, hey. oh, there she is. There you are. Sorry, Raina. Unmute yourself, please. Hello. Hey, my girl. What you doing? I'm hey. visiting my son. This is uh, my daughter-in-law, Anam. Hi. Oh, hey, my girl. How are you? Yeah. And so I, I just wanted to clear your energy and light you up. They told me to throw a billion rainbows at you, right? Yeah. And I didn't even know I had a billion rainbows to throw. But anyway, I got these new gifts in the last two days. So it's like working with a whole new me, you know? And so so I'm just projecting all this love, all this godly love. 
and that comes from from the cosmos from zion heaven and everything and so but i'm just projecting all this love and light to you guys and i see you tearing it up i feel like i, I feel like you'll be able to focus on everything you need to focus on and allow all the love to come in and and so and i just see you guys spoiling um your son and so yeah. that's his wife right yeah mm -hmm. awesome <laughs> Awesome. I just see you guys being able to spoil each other. Beautiful. It feels good. Thank you. Yeah, that feels good. I just had to, and I, I threw a good mojo on you. That's what I was doing. And so, <laughs> Can you hear Justin and his dad is here too. He's visiting oh. too. Oh, wow. That's interesting. And we're so, we're going to talk to you on Monday so you get more information. Oh, oh okay. All right. Good. Yeah. yeah. Private readings always tell all. And so there we go. Well, I'm just letting, I'm just, I heard that it needed to be a lot of light. Right. And so, yeah. so your, so your ex-husband is there too? Yes. My son is not feeling well, very well. That's why he's here. Oh, okay. Well, I just lit him all up. There we go. There we go. Good. Talk Monday. Sounds good. I didn't know that, but I'm so glad. So there we go. Got you all lit up there. Love, healing. Just grab that key, put it in the sky and turn it, guys. That's all you got to do. Grab that key, very golden diamonds, put it, in the, put it in the sky and turn it. And you'll see that everything will work out for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank there you. we go. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank big you. love. Big thank love. You. Big love. I felt like y'all needed. I felt like you needed love. So and, and thank there. You. Thank so you. We do. We do. All right. All right. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, that made me feel good. Thank you. And, yeah. And so, who are we yeah. talking to? Who are we talking to, guys? Who's next, Judy? Let's go to Elizabeth Connolly. All right, Elizabeth. Please unmute yourself. Thank you so much. Hello. Hey, my girl. What's going on? How are you? I am good. How are you? Good. Really good. Except, you know, I figured out where it's cold. Maybe it's dry. Are, are Judy, is it normal for your lips to fall off up here? Yeah, it's starting yeah. that season. We got to get oh. into some more chapters. Okay, I got some. I'm doing good. Anyway, so don't have but, to keep uh, applying it. It's, it's yeah. horrible in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're from here. You know. Okay. I am, so, yes. Oh, so anyway, so what's your question? What's your question? Well, I spoke with you and I was the last one to talk with you on the Dave Ryan show. And I oh. didn't get my question answered because you were done and walking out the door. Oh. And so I guess um, I would like you to maybe get rid of all the demons that I have. And I've just had so much trauma and I'm going through a custody battle. And How's just, your, where's your mom? She's with me. I mean, close. Okay. I see mama trauma. Is she just worried about oh, you? Like, yeah. No, she, she she's kind of narcissistic. Yeah. And so I'm just clearing the, all that off of you. That's pretty thick. Thank you. There we go. Feel how your sinus is open? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're back. And now you feel like, oh, my God. See? There. I, I just cleared all those dark energies. I think it was really meant to be that that I didn't talk. I didn't clear you on Dave. Uh, on the Dave Bryan in the morning show, which is the largest show in Minnesota, right? And so, so, but, but because I was supposed to talk to you here, and, okay, and because I got these new gifts in the last two days, and so I'm totally freaking out at like how quick it is for me to clear people uh, of what's going on. If you guys ever thought about getting a private reading with me, call me now, 800 827 Gary, GarySpivey.com. Uh, you can always call Michelle and book for the uh, retreat we got going in North Carolina, uh, December 7th. Uh, this is a great, my holiday retreat is always very special and very holiday like, you know, like when you you have fun you got christmas trees and lights and things and and wonderful food and wonderful people and we just celebrate together so anyway call us up uh 702-822-0548 and michelle will hook you up anyway back back here. oh there we are oh we got it there we are private readings 800-827 gary call me up gary spivey.com sorry it's you're right. just lagging a little bit tonight i apologize <laughs> that's all right it's no. okay judy it's okay it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. And, and so anyway, so I cleared all these dark energies off of you. What do you want to have happen? you got to manifest good stuff. What do you want? Um, good luck. I mean, everything. Good luck. Um, my daughter has kind of some issues because of the custody stuff. And um, I'd like to own it. I mean, just just good thing. I just feel like I'm just in this 
ball not, of negative. Not, in, not anymore. Don't okay. loop back. I popped you out of it. Your face is hot right now. Feel that? It's hot. It is hot. Okay. That's because you don't have this <laughs> negative ball of darkness on you. Great. And so I cracked that off. Now, all you got to do at this point, and see, so you guys got to realize, once I clear your energy, then you have to, it's up to you. You have to manifest your heaven. You just want to tell God what you want. And here's what I need, God. I need for my heaven to be whatever it is, you see? And so you guys can do this right now. All you guys can do this. And so all you got to do is just say, dear God, please allow me to have whatever you're looking for. New okay. house, new relationship, beautiful world, loving friends, peaceful head, more spiritual gifts, whatever you want. Just ask God for it. You got to ask, you know, the, the old biblical thing where it says, ask and you shall receive. I mean, that's for real. You just got to ask. And if you don't ask, you may not get and so ask, there's no downside at asking. And so, and so, but you, I feel good about you now. You look really good. Thank yeah, you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you, you so much. Do you see anything about the custody stuff? I mean, anything. I see, that... you, pow I see you powering through it. You know, you're dealing with sort of a crazy person. Yes. And, uh, but you have an attorney. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's pretty good. I like your attorney. Yes. yes. Does that make, make sense to you, right? Totally, yes. Yeah, so you're lucky. You got a real good attorney. So that attorney is going to help you push through and make you a little tougher than what you are. And so, great. Thank you yeah. so much. Hey, good luck. Thank you, Elizabeth. Good luck. Thank you. Lots okay. of love. Thanks. Okay, uh, let's go to good. Fred. We got Fred, Fred next. All right, Fred. Well, unmute yourself, Fred. Oh, Fred, how are you? I wanted to talk to you earlier when we first. Gary, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? You're in uh, Tennessee. Um, I'm actually right. in, back in Indiana now, but you remember I, I talked to you 25 years ago. I remember you. I remember reading your mom. Yes, you did. Yeah. Absolutely. I, yep. I, remember, I remember reading your mom. So sad, but I told her to quit smoking. Yeah, and she did. And she didn't quit smoking. And I said, if you don't quit smoking by this age, you won't maybe be around. And yeah. That happens. It, and, it happens. Yeah. So I remember, I have a great memory, believe it or not. I have this, some right. crazy psychic memory, you know, what, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and so, and, and people don't realize you're, 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 you're actually, they call you two foot Fred. If I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And my, so, uh, my stage names. Right. And so, but you do, uh, I remember you worked, what was the, the group you worked with a lot? I don't know if you still Duns of Brooke or Brooke, or whoever. Uh, big, big and Rich. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big and rich. Yeah. Um, I've worked for them for like almost 10 years. And uh, then the whole COVID thing, you know, it just right. turned everything upside down. And they, yeah. everybody was kind of back to square one production wise. And I, mm -hmm. uh, I've got my dad still with us and he's getting good. up there in age. And so I, it was just time for me to come back. Oh, good. Okay, good, good, good. So what's your question? What's your question? I love well, you, by the way. And I'm so glad to talk to you again. Really I know well. you as well, you as well. And, and I'll tell you what my reading, you were spot on. I just want to tell you that and for anybody out there questioning whether they need to get a reading or not, do it. There's no, <laughs> no doubt in my mind. And oh, I've got, a, I've got nice. a recording someplace where I've got on a cassette tape, you know, oh. one of those little micro, whatever, yeah. Yeah. Um, where, cause you encouraged it back there, or, you know, you probably still do, but you encourage it. Uh, and I've got that someplace and I would love to find it and play it, but, I just remember certain highlights that, that you were spot on. Oh, so, well, I just try to help, you know, and, and, you know, it's, you know, the thing about it is, I mean, you have so much passion. Uh, I mean, you know, you have so much passion in life. Uh, and I was always touched by you and, 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 um, um, and your, your concern for everybody else, your family, your mom, while she was alive, uh, you know, you even got her a reading with me because, you know, you yeah. to just make her better. Um, you know, your family, your brother, um, you know, and, 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 and so I, I just remember you had so much passion, uh, for the famous musical group you toured with and you would yeah. announce, you, you, you announced for them, you know, because you yep. know, it, just, it just worked out. And, and so, uh, and, and, you know, a lot of times people will see handicaps. And so to be born, uh, a, a little person, did I say it right? right. I don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's fine. <laughs> 
And so <laughs> to be born a little person where you're actually two feet, two feet tall, you know, uh, that, those are, are things that people have, you know, which could be, you could look at that as a handicap, but you didn't look at any of that as a handicap and you got to watch me work it and watch me be me. And, and you become a really big person being you, which is, is so beautiful. You know? Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I try to make it a lot of lemonade. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what's your question tonight? Well, your, yes, sir. Really yes, good. sir. I'll, I'll get to it. Well, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's not for me. Um, I've got a dear friend, um, who from my side, I guess is maybe a romantic, a romantic interest. Um, she is, uh, going through a really rough time right now. Um, she, there's a lot of addiction, um, she just um she went to rehab and she's clean still clean um i actually just uh she just stopped by and i had to she thinks she has covid um and i don't know if you can her name is Brittany. i don't know if you can tell but her you know out. i'm so glad i'm so glad that you're asking me this question and so because uh about three months ago I finally got, I'm getting all these new gifts that are really big gifts. They're called divine gifts. And so, you know, you know, like I read you, how many years ago did I first read you? It, it, probably 25. Yeah. Like 25 years ago. Right. Yeah. And so we, we've been buddies ever since and ever since. And, and so, um, so I've always been me and I'm always been gifted, but I'm getting a, now these days, the gifts I'm getting are bigger and, 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 and more and faster. And so I'm getting at least, I'm getting the upgrades. I'm getting the new software yeah. if you would. And, awesome. and so, but I, I got the gift to, to clear addiction. And I got that, Fantastic. I got that gift about three months ago. And, and so, and, and so it's, it's so funny. Let me see if I can get Travis to come in here if, if I could, because he's working, doing stuff for me. And so, so, and we have a family member, uh, Travis, who is, there he is <laughs> anyway. And so, and he had here, let me move over so you can, you can share my mic and share my camera. There we go. And, and so uh, he had uh, the worst scenario alcoholism in the world there's no one that had worse and that i ever heard of and and so and dean and i and all of our family judy all of us uh through everything we had for years to try to and our goal was just to keep him alive and so because with as you know if you you know with your friend um it, that's a big deal to yeah. just keep breathing you know and yep. so, it, and, and there was a few times he didn't breathe. There's a few times he died and there's, but he came back. I mean, he was like, you know, thank God somebody was there that knew how to do all that. And so, and so, um, I got to where I could clear this addictive dimension and with being able to do this, it, it was a breakthrough and then something worked and then you have to go to detox rehab deal with your counselors, do everything you got to do, join whatever it is you got to join, whatever works for you, uh, to, to your, your, your religion, your church, your AA, your, what, what you know, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and so, so you have a friend that's going through the same thing. Yes. Yeah. She, um, she's been to rehab. Um, I actually picked her up a week ago and, She's uh, I, and I can I ask you a was, question? Can I can I ask you a yeah, question? Yeah. Why did you Why did you go pick her up? Because I, she called me and she indicated that she was about twelve days in, and that I don't know. I don't. I don't. Know well, why, I mean, that. no. But what made you? What gave you the motivation? You, you felt, mean from a from what from, standpoint? From a human. From your your heart standpoint, I, you I love her. To, okay, I love her. Okay, well, we we were this, this very same, very same. And so, I mean, we, we, yeah. we you know you know we love Travis. We want Travis to be okay. I mean, there's many times that I would have you know thought about well, maybe we could just roll him in the river and he'll float downstream somewhere. You know what I mean? I, and so, but but you know we just never could do that, and and we had yeah. to always we always had to go pick him up. We always had to go make sure he was okay. We had to take him to the hospital. We had to 
call 911. We had to pay attention. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. so and, and so, and there's some part of your soul that will not let a person down. Right. Yeah. You have that. You have that passion. Yeah. You have that passion inside your heart. And, and you're one of my favorite people I ever read. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, it's true. I appreciate That's, that. Yeah. So for being two foot tall, you are, car <laughs> you are carrying on. I'm telling you. <laughs> thank you. And so, so that, you got, a, there's a lot. lot, well, there's a lot in that two feet there. And so, <laughs> so, so, but, but with her now you, you, you want her, you want me to clear her dimensions? Is that what you want me to do? You want me to mm -hmm. fix this? I'm going to clear this addictive dimension with her. How's that? Yeah. And then she, she just is in life in general. She just needs, she's like, She's either channeling or she has a gift because there's a lot of times we'll be talking. And we're very, very close. But I mean, she can, she tells me what I'm thinking. And I mean, there's no joke. Yeah. Well, many times the brightest light people. I mean, Travis did all of our editing for many, many years, traveled with me on the road for years and years, you know, all over the world. Um, and and so um, many times the brightest light people get attacked the worst. And this is what addiction does. That's what I thought. That's what I yeah. thought too. Well, that's that's what's up. So just say her name for me. Just say her name Br for me. And I get Brittany. teary. I can tell I'm going to heal her up because I'm getting teary already. And so, and so that's um, awesome. Yeah. So so tell me tell me her name. Brittany. Okay. I'm clearing all this dark crusty energy off of her. She's got uh -huh. six. To, she's got six dimensions, three on each side, uh, that are addictive dimensions. And I just cleared them all. And now I went up into the Milky Way galaxy. That's how big they are. And I'm going up and I'm clearing six dimensions up there. And then there's one big, bigger one. She actually has seven. There's one above her head. And, yeah. And I'm just clearing. It's causing head problems. And so I just, yep. cleared, I just cleared that. There we go. And there we go. Now, how warm are you right now? And how light are you? Um, you feel that? You feel I'm not that? sure yet. Not, not yet, but. Okay. How about now? Do you feel it now? A little lighter in your pans, now your face. There we go. Oh, yes. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. See? I'm light. I feel light. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and so she's going to um, be different. Awesome. And so, Is she, so, she, what about the channeling? Like she's, I hate, I mean, I don't know, put it any other way. She's here. She's got voices talking to her in her head. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Is uh, that from the addiction? She well, she had about a bazillion demons on her. <clears throat> the okay. dark, the dark energy dimensions, guys. And if you, you guys pay attention to this, this is important to quite understand. Um, the dimensions that were above the Milky Way, these big dimensions, were um a couple of million times the size of the planet Earth. So if you can imagine having a dark dimension on you that's a couple of million times the size of Earth. How in the world are you going to figure out how to clear that? Well, honestly, I can uh, these days. And so, but if I can, that means a lot of you guys are going to be able to. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to teach you how. That's what spiritual retreats are all about. Check us out. we got a spiritual retreat. Our, our holiday retreat is uh, December 7th. Uh, you know, come and, come and join us. And, and it's really easy. 800-827-GARY or call Michelle. She'll hook you up. 702-822-0548. 702-822-0548 or GarySpivey.com. Really, really simple. But, <laughs> but but I just, this is, this is, you know, people can learn how to do this. And so people who love people like you, you're like a love bug. You can make a lot of difference with folks. And so well, you, and know, you got a lot I of people like listening I, to you. I feel like that I, I've got, I've got the, the healing part in me, but you like do. with her, with her, I would, I would try to heal her. I would try to, Pull that stuff out of her. I just didn't. I just wasn't strong. I didn't have two, the, two million times the size of yeah. Earth is what she had on her. I mean, yep. that's how big the, the the dark dimension was. Uh, and so, and Travis had one about nine million times the size of the planet Earth. And so, so, but when I finally got where I could heal that dimension, we got there. And so, but anyway, I got her looking bright. You just be her friend, hold her hand, see what happens now. Yeah. Do you, you see is, anything like in our future, like between the two now, of us? Now, you see, yeah, now, yeah, people who yeah. have addiction can't figure out their future. Well, and that's why I, I'm not, that's why I've tried to just stay back and be a good friend. 
You've been a great friend. You continue. You'll notice you'll see a, a, a new friend next time you talk to her here in a minute. Okay. Awesome. Gary, Good. thank you so much. Hey. And uh, right. love and light to you. And if you, you know, do anything for my right knee, I've got arthritis in my right knee pretty bad. <laughs> there we, well, you know, it's funny because Travis has arthritis now. I, well, here, it, here get over here. I guess when you, uh, Hi, Travis. See, hey, how you doing, sir? Good. I, I've, 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 I've heard your legacy for like 25 years now. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> he's been around a long time. Yeah. He's actually much older than he looks. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> You know, it's so Travis, you know, went, you know, he, he passed out about 10 years ago. Right. Cool. And, yeah. And, and he didn't wake up for about 10 years. Well, so he woke up like 10 years later and sobered up after yeah. I figured out how to clear these dimensions. And the thing about it I is got old. he realizes, oh my God, I got old. So now he's realized <laughs> he's got arthritis in one knee and he's, you know, not, you know, 20 anymore. Right. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, so, yeah. So, but I can clear, I'm, I've, he's been begging every day, clear my arthritis, clear my, you know, whatever. And so feel your knee warm now. Yeah. There we go. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah you'll be and, good. And buddy. By the way, I'm, uh, I'm starting my 14th year sober. Good for you. Good yes, for sir. You. Good so Travis, you. keep on fighting a good fight there, and I'll I'll do the same. And God bless you both go. of you. And Gary, as always, uh, brother. And I, I'm I'm gonna make it to one of those retreats. I promise. Good, 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 good. Please, please come to the December one. Show up. I love you. Come. To I love come. you too. All right, all right. I look okay. forward. Thank to you. It. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thank okay, you. Thank your, you. Mom, your mom says hi, and she feels good. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, what yeah. that's all awesome. that's fantastic. She's listening to gospel music, weirdly. <laughs> oh, and I would have asked about her, but I, I think that she would have wanted me to, to help Brittany if I could in now my mom, in, in this time with you. Yeah, she could see you. She could see you. She says awesome. she holds, she says she holds your hand in the morning early when you're meditating. Oh wow. Very cool. Makes sense, right? Yeah, no, it does. All right. Good luck, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Thank you, Fred. Okay, so, thanks, guys. Thanks, Fred. So anyway, so we ended up with Travis here. Hey, buddy, come on over here. Hey. You know, you got to lean right way in. It's like it's kind lean of and crazy. Rock with it. Yeah, Try. there we are. And, and so, you know, it, it's really it's really neat because, you know, we all have family and we all have friends and we all have loved ones. And I just want to thank you guys for actually kicking in and, and uh, helping Travis with his journey out of being an addict. And, and, um, so everybody's like, well, once an addict, always an addict. Okay. I get it. Uh, but you know what? That's a, you end up in an addict lifestyle that really destroys your world and it tries its best to destroy everybody else's world that's close to you. And, and so I just want to say thank you guys for kicking into uh, your GoFundMe page. And, and so for helping pay for your, your, your you know, uh, his rehab. It's rehab, Gary. It's called rehab. <laughs> Is that it? Rehab. I should know by this point. It's a few times in. <laughs> and so, so um, but it, it's kind of an amazing thing. And, and your journey is, is a crazy journey. And, and here we are. And, and so what does it feel like just being sober? I guess that would be the question. That's a good question. No one asked me that question. Um, talk right in the mic. You got to talk right in. So it feels good. Uh, that's a loaded question because you, uh, you just feel good. It, there's a lot of stolen moments that, um, are you, aware? you you asked it a question that I can't answer. So you're not sure. You had you thought about what does it feel like to be sober? I don't know. It's a loaded but, question. Yeah. No one ever asked me that point blank. So all right. Well, so. you you got to get used to that because people are going to do that. And so so, but here's the thing. So you said there's a lot of stolen moments. So uh, do you feel like that you you know you really did almost disappear for ten years? I hibernated for ten years. You did. I did. And, and, you know, during that time, Dean, myself, Judy, all of us, Mama you know, Day, Dean, yeah, 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 we figured out how to just keep you breathing, and that's all, that we were just trying to do that. Uh, there was a few times. How many times did you go to the hot? There, there's Travis, and this is like three months ago or two months ago, right? So um, I was, uh, I flew to Minnesota because I was, my dad had passed away, and I was trying to. 
and you just need to do something different. And uh, long story short, I ended up getting thrown in a house in North Minneapolis and I didn't have any water. It was just not a good situation. And uh, I ended up somehow on the doorstep of my friend Solomon's house. If anyone who doesn't know Solomon, he's, he's, he's been in my life for. He's six, your, he's your childhood friend. Yeah. Childhood. I'm buddies friend. with him. I love him. And so uh, long story short, I had come here. I was trying to get okay. And I was in a situation. It wasn't good. And I just magically ended up there uh, after a night of drinking. And I don't remember how I got there. And So uh, you just show, you landed on his doorstep and you don't know how. I landed on his doorstep. I don't know how. I don't remember anything except for I was in North Minneapolis. I prayed to my dad, blacked out, and then I woke up with IVs in my arm. But I wasn't at the hospital yet. Oh, okay. And that's what calls uh, Solomon's sister, Lisette, is a nurse. Yes. And she does the IV thing, um, you know, for people. And, and and so so she showed up and did her thing and tried to bring you back to life. So, so long story short, I was a mess, which I had, had become accustomed to and very good at becoming a mess. And so he, he called up um, at this point. Let me just recap. So Solomon is the toughest guy I've ever met. He doesn't he doesn't respond easily to just chaos. So he saw me out there, freaked out, called his sister and was like, I got to bring Travis to the hospital. I'm taking him now. His sister in the way she takes charge is bleep, bleep, bleep. Don't take me anywhere. I'll, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Showed up in 10 minutes. And next thing you know, I don't remember any of this. I'm probably at a five plus at this point. Hooked me up to IVs, put three three liters of IVs in my arm just to get me to the point where I was okay to even talk to me. At this point, I don't even know what's going on. Uh, and so all this is like a miracle. Yeah. Really. And, and very angelically led. And, and let me tell you, Lisette, Lisette is, is one of the most wonderful people in the world during uh, the whole COVID thing. She was a volunteer nurse that went to New York City to work in the trenches in Manhattan. And that's who she is. And she, she would call me, I'm, I'm friends with her and she would call me and I'd, I would help her just get enough light to get through the day, the days. And so, I mean, she was just a, she's that kind of person. She just goes where she's needed. So she felt needed. She showed up, she hooked you up. She, she got some fluids in you so you didn't die. And then, and then she gets you and she just, she says, you're going to go to detox. And then she says, you're going to go to rehab. Well, it got a little, it so got a little more intense than that. So basically I'm hooked up to all this stuff. Finally. So you got from, I can't talk to now I can talk. So I've made progress here. And now they're, they're trying to talk me into like actually making steps like physical steps to go where I need to go. And then you got Solomon again, strongest Solomon is the the strongest human being you've ever met a man's tough. man times 10 tough guy yeah times 10 is his father's poppy raised by yeah. the toughest human being alive he looks at me and he 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 bursts into tears and now i'm freaked out because this is solomon and he, he says he says travis you have to go to rehab and that's when i was like whoa all right mm. and and there you are. And so you, he went to, so, so, but you guys, I want to just say thank you. And thank you, tell you. Yeah. I, uh, when I first got out, everyone asked me, you know, write everyone a thank you, write everyone a thank you. And I've thanked so many people in my life for helping me. And it really wasn't, it didn't amount to anything. And this time I wanted to thank people and them to actually see the results. So uh, hopefully we can, we can achieve that. I, I think so. I think so. Because you, you know, when we were working, we did, we did a lot of work in Hollywood and different things and different productions. Um, and when, when Travis would work on a production piece with editing uh, with me and, and all the, the bigger Hollywood companies would see in famous companies and famous people, uh, they would go, who did this? And, and then of course we would go, well, Travis did this. And they go, where did you learn? And he goes, I was self-taught. So, so he has a beautiful gift of being able to tell stories 
And so this is just an, an amazing thing um, that is a gift he has. And so understand the dark energies will attack people when they're bright and when they're at their brightest. And so for you guys, you got to realize that if you're getting attacked, it's not because you're a dud. It's not because you're dark. It's not because you're dim. It's because you're a bright light. And so you got to just keep on and you, you can't give up. And you guys, you can't give up on other people either. And so it's really easy just to go, well, hey, I can wash my hands of this. It's a problem. I'm, you know, whatever. Good luck, Travis. But, but, you know, it's really important to not give up. Don't give up on yourself and don't give up on other people. And so hang in there, tough it out, tough it out. Be tougher than the demons. Be, care be careful uh, with demons and dark energies and dark situations, but you just got to ask for bigger spiritual gifts. God, give me the spiritual gifts it takes to pull this off. That's all you got to ask for. And if you even say that right now for your own life, just say, God, give me the spiritual gifts that it takes for me to pull this off. God, give me the spiritual gifts it takes to pull this off. And when I said that this week, it's interesting. I got these new gifts and it was they were like a quantum leap in my gifts. And so I'm able to share those with you and work with you guys. And, and I couldn't be happier. And so, Judy, remember the time that you talked Travis into signing himself into the nut ward? You gotta go there. <laughs> well, you might as well. Just... Judy, remember I... that? Remember that? Oh, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> that was part of part of the journey, obviously. Yeah. It was so because we, we were like, he can't, if he comes out of here, he's gonna keep on drinking and die because he had, he had drank so much he was dying. And so they managed to keep him from dying. And, and Judy's like, when they come in here, repeat after me. You have to say, I was gonna kill myself. And I did. And then yeah. when I got upstairs, they were like, you said you were going to kill yourself. And I was like, I didn't say, oh. <laughs> so you managed to talk him into it. And so, and so, and then, of and course. That was he, to keep you alive. That was yeah. Crazy. And so, so Travis got checked into the, the one flew over the cuckoo's nest place for a while. And so that was, how was that? How was that trip? It was a flight. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys some deep seated, uh, uh trauma over that one <laughs> but he's alive scared. but he's alive he's you know it, it, you know allison richard who i just talked to i mean i, I got a, a picture of alice as she walks the am as she watches why the gurney goes pushing by and, the, and travis gets shoved into an ambulance from from their house you know and so so you have traumatized the hell out of i've everybody. worked really hard to be the i'm like the david goggins of rehab if anyone knows <laughs> what that david goggins is I've done mushroom therapy, psychotherapy. I've been a rehab three times. I've had him. I've had the correctional facility. I'm telling you, I've, I'm like, that's my am. <laughs> and Mama J. And Mama J. <laughs> that's it. And Dino. Dean, what, the, you know, the very Wait, first time, what? You're doing good now, Travis. You're doing yeah. good. Keep it up. Remember, remember Dean, Dean, the first time we didn't know what, what had happened. You know, Travis had the flu. But he didn't have the flu. He was just hiding. He was drunk. And we didn't know. And so he drank himself. Remember that? And and I, I found him on the floor and his eyes were set and he was dead. Yes. Right? And so I was in um for the people that know where Gary's at, there's a small town close to him, Star, North Carolina. It's five minutes away. Gary's that's what Gary's bed and breakfast is. I was there. Gary calls me. He goes, Travis is dead, I think. And I'm like, what the hell do you mean he's dead? He goes, He's not moving, he's on the floor. So I jump in the truck. I drove 120 miles an hour to get there, run right through Gary's front yard, run through the door, and there's Travis. And I'm like, you're right, he's dead. He was not moving. I picked him off the floor and threw him on the bed. I look at Gary. I said, we got to call 911 or he will really be dead. And so that was the very first time. Yeah, he looked worse than that that time. That That's yeah. a bad one. But he looked even worse. And um, then I went to the hospital with him and sat there for – maybe three hours until the doctor came out and cussed me out because Travis was o overdosed on alcohol. He's like, the doctor came out. And he we goes, didn't know. Yeah, we didn't we know. Didn't, we, goes, didn't, we didn't know he was overdosed, right? Yeah. He, but, then the you, but, then you goes, cuss, but then you cuss the doctor out. Then you're like, let me tell you something, buddy. <laughs> For all the people that don't want to hear cussing, I'm going to cuss right now anyway. But the doctor came out. He goes, you fucking asshole. You should have told me he was um, drunk. And I'm like, I didn't know he was on the floor. And the doctor kept screaming. And I said, shut the fuck up. And I started screaming at the doctor and all the nurses. And I was like, leave me alone. And I said, I didn't do this to him. And then the doctor apologized. He goes, he should be dead. He had a blood alcohol level, I think, of a 
six one at the time. And he goes, normal people die at a, if you, you hit a 0 0.30, your body is going to shut down on you. And he goes, I don't know why your friend's alive. And I said, I don't know. But well, let me tell you, let me tell you what's you going give on. It to Travis for not quitting on that one. He well, knows a few more times, well, Travis. Yeah. I'm like, but, I'm like a cockroach. You know, but let yeah. me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you behind the scenes, I was at home and, and I remember Dean, I said, you go to the hospital. For oh, that's something. right. You and Jason were at your house. Yeah. And so me and Jason were there and Jason, of course, is, is, uh, was spiritually gifted, really spiritually gifted. And Jason are there and we find Travis's spirit running up and down the hall. He was out of his body. I said, Jason, he's dead. He's out of his body running up and down the hall and, and, and of the house. And he was screaming my name. He's going, Gary, Gary, Gary. And so I have Dean on the phone. I said, Dean, he's here. He's not there. And Dean says, yeah, they can't revive him. And, and so there we are. There's Jason, and Travis, me and Dean, um, you know, and uh, Jason was always in production and running around the world with Travis and I and, and Dean you know, doing shows. And so, so I said, I said, let me try to get him back in his body. So Jason and I managed to, to wrangle him and then take him and cram him back in his body. And when he got crammed back in the body, I was on the cell phone with you, Dean. And from hearing him scream, Jason or scream, Gary, 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 uh, from the hall, I then heard him screaming out of his mouth. Once I said, there, he went back in his body. And then I hear Travis go, Gary, Gary, you know, with his real yep. voice. And, and, and the, so that was really freaky for me to see taking someone who's dead and cramming them back in. So, so you have been incredibly lucky. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he, that was also round one of 15 years. Right. right. And then we that went was round one. So yeah. And so like we, had, rounds yeah, that. we got many, many. And so, so I'm just saying, I, I have to say, I'm really happy. Thank you guys for helping Travis through his rehab. Thank you for contributing, contributing to his GoFundMe page for that. And, and thank, thank you for not dying and thank you, Dean. And thank you, Judy. And, and I, I I'm so happy. There's a happy ending. And so I can't say thank you enough to everybody. I really, I sincerely appreciate it. And so, but remember, don't give up. Don't give up on your family. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on people you love. And so that's what love is for. My dad's, uh, my dad's dying. So when you, when you're addicted to stuff, it, it stops you from doing things, you know, you need to do, um, when I was really going through my addiction, my dad was dying. And um, I should have gone to see my dad when he was dying. And Gary had it lined up. And Gary had it lined up and I didn't go because I was drunk. And I... I, I'm lucky and uh, long story short, I, I'm I'm blessed with enough to be able to tell this story. So I don't know, I can't, I don't know what to say. But you, you wish that you were there when your dad was going through his death experience and so he had cancer and um and Travis wanted to be there because Travis is always really there, you know, with us for many, many years before he got so so addicted that he wasn't there. Uh, he was always there. He was very solid. I mean, Dean, you could count on him. He'd pull some mm -hmm. stuff off. He, you know, he's back to being his old Travis, which is wonderful. I mean, today, um, I mean, J Judy's got this big old place, and I mean, he blew your leaves for, day for the whole day, <laughs> you know, helping you, you know, to clear up everything here. Very hard. It's very hard. Back. Yeah. So I mean, you you're that guy, and you're there for people, and you weren't. You feel like you weren't there for your dad because you weren't. But it's like I see your dad in heaven. He just says he right. loves you. I wasn't there for my dad because I was drunk. But the my brother was there. And my brother stepped up as a man and was there for my dad. And the last thing that came out of my dad's the last thing that came out of my dad's mouth was he just wanted me to be me, change the world, and do what my dad always believed in. 
when I asked my dad why he put up with all my bullshit and all my crazy dreams, he just delivered a, a simple answer. He just he just looked at me and he just said, "You're my son." That was it. So I just uh, if anyone thinks that they're 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 numbers up or they can't accomplish something, it's bullshit. Uh, you always got a second chance and, and someone out there cares. So it it's important to care, guys, and it's important that you didn't give up. And so because if you give up. We would all. But uh, you didn't give up. Dean didn't give up. Mama J didn't give up. My brother didn't give up. My mom didn't give up. The world didn't give up. And especially your dad didn't give up because he was your. You were his favorite person. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you guys for helping us with our family member, and I hope that we've helped you with yours, and that's what we'll keep on doing. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for tapping into tapping in. I get teary. And um and um I just if I can go to the gallery view, that'd be cool. And so and then I I just see a, a lot of light going around all you guys. Uh when one person gets healed, we all get healed. We really do. And realize all you guys need healing. All you guys need healing. We all need healing. Project love to each other, project love. Lots of love, lots of healing. And so I got two more people I got to talk to. I don't know who they are, but I hear it. And so, Dimitri, let me talk to you. What's your question? What's your thing? What you got going? I kept on, I have an angel that's screaming in my ears. And so I got to talk to a couple more of you guys. Uh, and I and I can't appreciate you more. Dimitri, what's going on? Unmute yourself. And so can we, can we go to him? I don't see Dimitri. D oh, there he is. I got him now. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hello, hello, Gary. Hey, hello. how are you? Where are you? What? Where? Where are you? Where are you calling me from? Or where am I talking? I'm to? calling from Ireland. Oh wow. Okay. I felt like you were in a different part of the world that, that I needed to talk to you. And so, and so, so what's happening? What's your question? Well, it's crazy to me that you you're led to talk to me because I've been led to go onto this call today. Oh. I had this uh, feeling to jump on. Um, well, well, angels don't ever mess it up. I don't know how they do that, but they just know, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, well, my question is to do with the... Uh, so basically, when I was a kid, around like 11 years of age, I had this experience where I was kind of... I had this fear of getting sick in public. So like mm -hmm. physically throwing up. Right. Um, and... It's kind of been carrying on for years. So anytime I feel more or less sick, it's like this stressful kind of feeling around my stomach that just kind of tenses everything up. And I get in like this state of shock. Um, I can see it. You want me to get rid of it? Yes. Yes, right. please. You have an eating disorder demon is what it is. Okay. I, and so I've got, um, you got one, two, you got several of them, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, where are you? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There we go. Head's light. <clears throat> Stomach's a little tingly, different feeling. Feel that? Yeah. Warm. Yeah. Now kind of feeling really good for no reason. Getting brighter. There we are. Slightly happy for no reason. There we go. Better? Yes, yes. Good, good. Feet are hot. There yes. Go. Good. Hands are hot as well. Oh, hands are warm, really warm. Oh, good, good. There we go. Okay, now they were blocking all your gifts. You're really gifted. And I saw one of your ears go red. I saw your left ear go really red. And yeah. So, and can you feel it hot? Can you feel your ear hot? Yeah, both of them are, yeah. Both of them. Are. Okay, good. And so this is, this is you, you just got the, the gift of Claire audience. In other words, like you're going to be able to hear your angels in clarity now. And the same angel that was screaming at me, talk to you, uh, was is the one that's doing this. And this angel will now talk to you for the rest of your life. And so you'll be able to hear, you know, things like, hey, you do this, do that, right, left, 
yes, no, whatever, right? And so develop a relationship with this angel. And so, because I see you really, really spiritually gifted and you're going to make a lot of difference in the world. Do you write? Do you write anything? Um, the only thing I'm currently writing right now is just notes from Jen because I'm, I'm part of oh. Jen. Oh, good. Perfect. Perfect. My buddy, Kevin. And so what I see you, um, I see you writing amazing things. Um, and you'll end up writing some books that are really uh, impressive. And, and so, and you'll end up being a best-selling author is what I see. Wow. So, wow. And, I, and, I, and I'm really good at that. I talked to Daniel Steele earlier today. He was one of the top authors in the world, you know, and, and so she sold a billion books. Can you imagine? She just surpassed that. And so she's been one of my, my best friends and, and clients and buddies for Dean and I forever. Uh, Dean, she invited us to come over for, actually for Christmas uh, around that. If you feel like you and Michelle feel like it. Is and it so, in Paris or is it in San Francisco? San Francisco. And oh. so anyway, she has the largest house in San Francisco. It's 50,000 square feet. So anyway, if you can imagine a house that big, it looks like uh, the, it, it sort of looks like, I don't know. What, is, what does it look like? A castle, right? Sort of, is it, I guess. It's 50,000 square feet. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. It's, so, it's, yeah. yeah it's, uh, so anyway, but, but it's, it's like, um, so if you write and have best selling books, you, you make a lot of money. <laughs> and so, so I see you being really good at focusing points and understanding things. And you're very led by the light. Daniel, Daniel Steele is one of the most lit up people in the world. She brings so much light in to, and does so many things good for folks that she never talks about, never tells about, no one ever knows this, but she really does a lot of good. And so and so, but I see you being one of these people that has this crazy ability and, and, but you're connected through writing, write, write what you think, write what you feel. Now then write what you hear. Your angels will tell you what to write. You don't have to write. It, writing comes through a person. When I tried to write, remember Dean, I was a total more, I was an idiot. I can't even say the words, how bad I was with writing. I was so terrible. <laughs> Dean was a great writer. I was an idiot writer. And, and so, but then when I, when I started allowing it to just roll through me and writing what the angel said, then I could write like a crazy. And so, so we have about three or four books, actually Dean and I have that we're putting together right now. And, and so, uh, but, but you're going to find that that is your gift. One of, you have many gifts, many, many gifts. You're a very special person and the light will work through you. And so you'll see that that's really good. And so thank you, Gary. Thank you. Gary. Hey, good luck. Look how good you feel. Very, very. Thank you. Thank you for this. Yeah. Hey, good luck. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Talk All to right. you later. Yeah. Yell at us next week. <laughs> and so, and hey, and if you're not in the online club, you guys, you know, right now, if you, if you, Dean, what can we do to get people in the online club so they can join the master class tomorrow? I don't want any of the people that are watching tonight not to be in the master class. I'll give you a free month. If you just, just all you got to do is uh, be a part of the Enlightenment Club. Uh, and all you got to do to join is, is simply go to GarySpivey.com. And if we can put something up, we can let them in free tomorrow for give you, give them a free month just so they can make sure that everybody, all you guys tonight, make sure you're in the master class for tomorrow. And this is really going to, going to be amazing for you. You're going to see. I'll, so I'll call the web person and um we'll figure it out. It's it's a little bit more complicated than that, Gary, but we'll figure it out. All right. That sounds okay. good. How about how about the little thing? I have the little thing. I don't know that you, that you did, you know, whatever. The QR code? Yeah. You just hold it up to the screen and they can scan it right on the Oh, phone. oh good. I'd have to get it. Hey, Jared, see if you can find that QR code, wherever it is. There we are. You can hold it to the screen. Of, um, let me see where I have it. If I have it, I'll share it. Let me see if I have it. I'll see if I can get it fast enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I because, it, yeah, because I think it's really important. It feels like, because tomorrow, guys, I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow about, does that do it? Oh, hold on. Let me scan it with my phone. It's upside oh, down. Oh, it's the wrong way. Oh, sorry. Yes, it works. Okay. Just hold it there for a second. Uh, You're, yep. If you want a 30-day free membership to the Enlightenment Club, take your phone out, scan that. Now, if you're on your phone, Mm, take a snapshot and then you're still going to have to scan it from another phone and then you could just go ahead and sign up. 
There we go. Perfect. Good. All right. Good. Yeah, because I want you guys to really join us tomorrow, uh, tomorrow from uh, two to five and uh, Eastern time. And I will really pay attention to my phone to make sure I know what time it is. <laughs> so, and, and I really appreciate there is you time change tomorrow. Everybody what? remember there is, time, there is a time change tomorrow. What is this time thing? Oh my God. All right. Anyway, well, you, you can figure out what time it is. And, and so, and I'll do my best to figure it out. So, so, but I'll see you tomorrow from two to five. And I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for tapping in to tap again. What else am I missing? Let's see. Uh, private readings, 800-827-GARY, GarySpivey.com. I'll be in Minnesota for, for a little bit longer, a few more days. If you want to book a private reading with me and even see me live and come in person, I'm here in beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota and hanging out with Judy. And then uh, what else are we doing? We got the uh, retreat coming up the holiday retreat. My holiday retreat is this very special time where we just celebrate the holidays together and we work on enlightenment. I can't imagine the stuff we're going to be teaching at this holiday retreat because I'm going to be showing you guys all these new dimensions that are opening up for me that are crazy. And so this uh, quantum leap in spiritual gifts is all yours. All you got to do is uh, call 800-827-GARY or call Michelle. It's really simple. 702-822-05 Five, four, eight. Book for the holiday retreat uh, starting uh, December 7th, and we're going to have a great time there. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you right here tomorrow, okay? See you then.